before we get to today's video, which is actually a really, really exciting and super fun and funny video of us exploring Nashville with the squad, we've got some news for Pokemon Go that I'm sure a lot of you guys saw, but I just wanted to cover to make sure that those who didn't see on this channel, you guys are informed. Basically, there was an iPhone update and it was data mined by everyone and anyone and their mothers included. For starters, we got this, the Wonder Box. It's called the Wonder Box. It is the Melten Box, basically. It's what you get from Pokemon Let's Go when you trade a Pokemon between Pokemon Let's Go and Pokemon Go. You get this box, you put it down, it's a consumable, we know this, and it attracts Meltan in Pokemon Go so that you could actually catch it and actually register it to your Pokedex this time. So that's here and uh, trails the uh, data mine leak master of the world. Got the images in the description. The description reads, mystery box, a mysterious old box. Opening it causes a certain Pokemon to appear for a limited time. Obviously that certain Pokemon is Meltan and maybe in the future there will be more Pokemon that you can get from that mystery box from Let's Go to Pokemon Go, but who knows. Also regarding Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Go Hub found some code that shows some limitations when it comes to transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go, and I mean just the, kind of the brief explanation, no egg Pokemon, only specific Pokemon will be transferable, Kanto and Alolan forms, you can only transfer Pokemon that are not in gyms, and you can only transfer one Pokemon at a time, I think there is a transfer cooldown, but all this we're going to go over later on in the week because Pokemon Let's Go drops on Friday, and I will definitely be covering that on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And rolling it back to Meltan and Melmetal, uh, there is actually literally in your Pokedex at the bottom of the Pokedex, there is uh, a line that reads badge Pokedex entries unknown title. That is for that should be for Meltan and Melmetal right at the bottom of your Pokedex. Everyone can see that, at least on iPhone. That is Pokemon Go preparing for the launch of uh, Pokemon Let's Go and Meltan and Melmetal because the code for both of those Pokemon have been found in the uh, APK file, so like they're pretty much essentially in the game or at least in that one little line. Big news, the November, November event and the Sinnoh Stone. There is code supporting a November event happening here in Pokemon Go. We have no idea what it's gonna be, what it's gonna include, but we can guess because the Sinnoh Stone, uh, the, the actually image, the t image asset of it has been found and the Sinnoh Stone, essentially what it is, you guys again probably know this, it is a stone, it is an item that you use to evolve Pokemon from generations 1 through 3 that can evolve to generation 4 Pokemon because there's a bunch of like other evolution items and evolution strategies of evolving to generation 4 Pokemon but just to make it easy Pokemon Go is introducing the Sinnoh Stone which will be used to probably evolve almost all of them if not all of the uh, generation 1 through 3 Pokemon to their generation 4 forms. If that made sense I'm fucking really fast right now. So yes the Sinnoh Stone, that is exciting. So let me know in the comments guys what is the Pokemon that you're going to evolve to first using the Sinnoh Stone. And the Sinnoh Stone will most likely replace all the other evolution items in your seven day streak and that is of several weeks worth of uh, seven day streaks to get all of the Pokemon from the Sinnoh region through evolution. So it's gonna be the same system we saw when evolution items came out and evolution item Pokemon came out and now evolution items are being spun out of Pokestops. You can get them at a certain research. So like those will still be obtainable. They'll be probably more rare, uh, but out of your seven day streak, you will most likely start seeing Sinnoh Stones once this update drops. And that is everything about the data mine. Oh, also, Pokemon is doing a live action movie featuring Ryan Reynolds. Let me know in the comments and on Twitter. I can do a re I can react to that trailer. If you guys remember me reacting to some, I mean, you know, some other stuff in the past, it, ah, I find it like a fun thing to do. So if you guys want me to react to the trailer, I could do that and then throw that up probably later on today on the channel. So let me know, but it's uh, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good movie. I'm excited for it. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. And if you guys want me to react to it, let me know in the comments or on Twitter and then I'll try to make it happen. But yeah, guys, that is the news. Now, please enjoy today's episode where we roll around now. Nashville. We enter a brand new Pokemon into our Pokedex and we kind of just hang out with the squad, hit best friends, and uh, have a really, really good day. I, this is one of my favorite videos in a while, so please enjoy. Good morning. What's up, man? Line for some uh, some breakfast this morning. It's not as cold as yesterday, so standing in line isn't the worst. While we're in line, I logged in. I'm gonna get up off the ground. There's a Badoo raid right here. So good morning from uh, from Pokemon Go. This is actually Carnivine Day. This is when we will capture the regional exclusive Pokemon to this side of the United States of America, Carnivine. Now the reason why we didn't catch it yesterday because it did spawn yesterday. We did see it at Bicentennial Park is because yesterday was all about the challenge, the cynical challenge in which we got rocked during. So shout out to a. Uh, JT Gilly over there for 
for winning that one. I, was anyone surprised that I lost a challenge to JT Gilligan? Also shout out to Jay Kim too, by the way, who actually picked this up and drove us here, who is part of the Nashville, Tennessee squad. And uh, also, I mean, shout out to the Badoo. And to the shiny, so the Typhlosion, I did do the evolutions. I didn't show that in yesterday's video because both of my camera batteries died super duper quickly. I think it was because it was literally so cold, the camera batteries were like, nah fam, I'm good. They took a nap and then I wasn't able to record anything. So that that happened. And then we've got a uh, little weasel here. So that's cool. Uh, we actually do definitely need more candies for this for Floatzel because it is 50 for the evolution. There's a there's a wee bit of a raid here, man. See that. A cool one. A fun one. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna sneak back there we over go. Here. All right, man. Good seeing you. I see you guys. Nick, but... Nick's here. Here, let me just. That's. Nick's here too. So getting some breakfast with the squad. I'm gonna. Hang out around Nashville today. Good start to the morning. Now we're gonna get a good breakfast. Right now? No. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna trade the bees weasel real quick. Just because we have a line for another like. I think 30 minutes at least, yeah. 30 ish minutes. No. Worth it though. No. 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 Five minutes max. Yeah, apparently we've got. Um, Did you see the spicy chicken biscuit? Spicy what? chicken in a biscuit. Yeah, dude. High key. And it was. Right, there goes that. Boy, chicken next. Or biscuits. biscuits. <laughs> We have a Giratina raid to follow up the meal. Every time I talk, there's something loud happening in this city. We got the the weasel raid to begin with. We got some that hey that that place was smack. If you guys want some good food and you want to wait in line for it, uh, Biscuit Love here in Nashville was was actually fire. And get the bonuts. They are biscuit donuts. So now we're attempting, or apparently attempting, or thinking of attempting to break into a prison. <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? What are we doing? We don't really have a plan for today. We're just gonna hang out. There's some malls we're gonna hit up too. So um, I guess kind of seeing the the Pokemon go out in there. Also, Carnivine is the big catch for today. I'm trying not to get too close to the camera because you are on the side of the trash can, and I just ate, and I don't want to put my food in the trash can. So, oh wow. Also, I'm dead. So that's how the day's going. Mia. Yeah. Oh god, that's a <laughs> Welcome to our podcast, TrashCon, TrashCon, wow. TrashCon talk. <laughs> so, um, what are you guys' thoughts on? Um, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Jeez. Uh, yeah. That was the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a great podcast. <laughs> Leave a like. Um, we'll be here next week. Oh, same time. All right, shiny. Ready? Yeah. One, two. Oh, okay. oh, 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 I didn't get it. Oh, God. Didn't get I didn't it. get it. No. Eighteen. Nobody got it. Eighteen. What? I've never got really? wow, yeah. I've never got that many. Okay. It's what happens when you raid with everyone's tickets? Is the audio even clicking up? No, probably not. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. I couldn't even spell that if I tried. Oh, nice. Uh, that was Dude. a lie. We got the <laughs> Giratina. Um, oh, there's. where's this? Is this close? It's not close. Oh no, you're fine. You want just like knock it in the trash can if you want, like you know, continuity. That was the wrong word. Okay, so there was <laughs> there's that. Uh, we got the raid. I don't know where we're going next or what we're doing. I heard scooters. Scooters. High five. Oh, oh, you just oh. leave them hanging. Not cool, bro. Not cool, man. We're never come to Nashville again. Don't come right. to Nashville. <laughs> this is the Charizard, by the way, that I was talking about. This is like dope. This is like high key. This is a team miss. This is what the shiny should look like, right? The black one is dope. But a blue shiny Charizard? I mean, come on. Again, I have no idea what we're doing, where we're going, but uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Charizard. A blue Charizard for you. Enjoy your day. Like the video. So now we are here, oh my goodness, at Centennial, Centennial, Centennial Park. This is the big park. This is this is where the majority of the grinders go for Pokemon Go. Bicentennial is where we did yesterday the event. That was just to do the event at. This is like this part, the, the part, part, Partheon, it's not a Pantheon, it's Partheon. I need to refresh before I go and do videos and talk to you guys about things that I don't know about. Well, basically, this is the park where everybody comes and actually grinds and actually plays. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do a little grinding here. And this is where we should, we have, I mean, the, the you, you see it, we have the Giratina. We have plenty of Giratina raids happening, but this is where we're gonna get them. The guy, 
that we've been looking for this weekend. Wow, he just hind-legged me. Yikes, I missed that excellent. This is where we're gonna get the Carnivine uh, at this park, at Cen Centennial, Cen Centennial. I'm gonna, hold on a second. This is Centennial Park, and this is the, the Parthenon. The Parthenon and Centennial Park. Okay, so now that we know what we're talking about, <laughs> we are gonna get Carnivine here. Got him. Giratina's everywhere, man. We've had a lot of good rating this weekend, so that's, that's down. Unfortunately, it's not great, so we're gonna transfer it, but A, that's cool. Also, 2.3 million Stardust, so we're doing really, really great on the Stardust gains, uh, and and here we go. This is why we're catching a carnivine here, because they are literally everywhere. So hopefully the next clip, I probably should get a lucky egg down. So there's two in that direction. That, somewhere over there. Some two oh gosh, where's my phone? Okay, the game crashed. No, come on. Well, I think we had three or four 2Ks that were hatching, and then my game just crashed. So they have hatched. And drum roll, please. We got with the party on the background. Eh, Aaron, Starly, Aaron, Barboche. Well, I mean, luckily before the game crashed, we got our star piece down, so we uh, you know capitalized on that. Now, Ricky, Mr. Ricky Dillon, the absolute legend, did get himself a shiny Togepi uh, through a seven-kilometer egg. So I haven't been going too hard on the seven km egg. So we're gonna start opening these gifts and strictly incubating for the 7Ks while these raised rates are still happening. But at the same time, it's like we don't have, oh my gosh, we don't have Riolu, speaking of Dark Matter Wolf's Lucario, we don't have Riolu and we don't have Badoo quite yet. So I, what do we hatch? Yeah, we're gonna walk around Centennial Park for a little bit and you know, just kind of explore the area, but some fire Instagram pictures being taken here. So make sure you guys, uh, if you're not following, link in the description. So I'm gonna keep opening these and now I'm gonna clear our bag space and we're gonna catch some stuff and have a good day. Welcome to my train reveal. Um, today we're actually taking it out for the first time. It's been a while since it's ran, so uh, we got the gas ready. And uh, Gilly is actually a licensed conductor in the state of Kansas, so yeah. we transfer the licensing over. <laughs> Matt's <Not> dated. <laughs> Make sure that the tracks don't, you don't see the end of the tracks. <laughs> All right, guys, beginning. is it for Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you guys let this happen. <laughs> We found him. <laughs> we found up oh, not that team missing Jim. We found the carnivine. Finally, we got a spawn in this guy. Here, actually, a Toro spawning right next to him too. So that's pretty cool. So here it is. This is the regional exclusive to this part of the world. Now the question is, I don't have a lucky egg down. I think my star piece ran up. Uh, oh, there's two right here. Perfect. Okay, fine. We'll do a little lucky egg, a little another little star piece sesh because we might have some uh, might have some eggs hatching pretty soon here too, which is nice, which is very convenient because we've got seven Ks going up like crazy. We've got to get. We clicked that one. It was 400. How much is this? This carnival. This is so cool. This is a this is a sick regional. 381. Yeah, really? I know they. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh my gosh, they spawn everywhere. It, we couldn't find them at all on the other side of the park. And then we walk over here, and there's 30. It's like a floating Venus flytrap. 533. This is gonna be the highest CP one. Now the question is, you know what? We're gonna. Are you, oh. I think I'm close to beating. You're like hugging him. He's like he's like floating in your hand. <laughs> oh god, he's on you. Oh jeez. He better not bite. Nick, run! I'll save you with the Savage. Okay, here we go. So this is Carnivine for the Pokedex right there. Savage Season Attempt Air Plus Mode, saving Nick's life. And we got him. All right, there we go. That's Carnivine Pokedex. Sweet, out here in Nashville. And uh, we'll definitely be catching more. 1420, that's in the decks right there in 60 FPS. Beautiful. The game should play like this always. I think it kind of does now. It doesn't. 533, okay, that's fun. This is sick. Ah! That is the exact noise that he makes. Cool, so we got three candies for that right now, just to start off with, and we're gonna get a bunch more because they're spawning quite literally everywhere, so that's uh, that's cool. We finally got this guy in the decks, and we still have, it's two o'clock p.m. right now, so we still have a full day of adventuring, full day of carnivining, because obviously there's a bunch of spawns right now, right here at Centennial Park, so. Sweet, these and Tauros, um, pretty common out here in Nashville, so they weren't aren't too hard to, okay, I think there's more spawning. Not too hard to find, we're gonna find more. Wearing out, why not? Can you 
Welcome to Jackass. You gotta catch it, you gotta catch it. Oh, oh, God. oh my god. <laughs> Holy wow. crap. You trusted me. Right. That worked nicely. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. We've got 5Ks going up, 5Ks going up. I am a passenger. It is a Trico. Gosh darn it. We've got some other stuff happening right here, including a raid. And actually, speaking of 5Ks, you should check out JT Gilly's video because he did get the hatch of all hatches out of the 5K, which I'm pretty jealous about. So with uh, seven total people going in against the <laughs> snow runs, it's not gonna last. We do get to test the carnivine against this though and uh, see, see what it looks like, see what it does for, for a whole two seconds. So definitely uh, we'll watch the full attack. Oh, he just goes with the, the headbutt. All right, energy ball. Give one of those. Yeah, that is uh, the, the energy ball out of his mouth into the face. Snow one's done in about two seconds. Jeez, guys, that was merciless. One percent battery Three, check. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no shininess here. Four thirty-one. One percent battery. Good. Yeah. Would you like a charge? <laughs> here. He is, ladies and gentlemen, we have a car of iron. Actually, this is uh, probably one of the final ones. We're doing one last lap here at Centennial Park and then heading off to the malls to see what's popping out that way. Pretty successful day so far, man. We had a couple of of iron. We probably will be doing some trades with uh, JT Gill Fish just to get some kind of out of our inventory and maybe some luckies too because we are filling up on the inventory space. And also, we've got these guys to claim the uh, the Caterpies. We've got two two Caterpies with possible, obviously possible shiny. So we'll do that here before we head out. And then uh, the adventure, I guess, continues here in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> this is a self-swing swing set thing. So from here, we're gonna claim the Caterpie. We got two Caterpie to claim here. Let me just get some momentum going. Caterpie number one, check. That's our second stamp this week. And, oop. Oh, that is a Clefable. What? Now I'm really confused. Um, well, this one, I, if this is a Clefable, I'm throwing my phone. Ah, it's a Caterpie, and it's not shiny, so. Oh, calculated. Now we have uh, some seven clumbers going up. I don't have a star piece down because I'm not dedicated to the grind enough. I'm also almost out of battery, but this star, the egg itself, Ooh. We're doing six, seven kilometers at a time. I think we're only hatching two or three right now. I think it's two. And then the other three eggs will be the 2Ks, 5Ks, or 10Ks. We really hatched two Meowths right there. I'm not going to act like it's annoying me, but that did piss me off. <laughs> Need some more eggs. And the group has completely left. They were standing right there. I have no idea where they went. I think there's a raid nearby. I'm going to find them. Found them. We're, uh, I think we're hitting best friends with Holly here, or somewhere close. Holly, you're hitting best friends with a lot of people right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, best friend. Oh yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh, cool. That's one thing. Yeah. So Nick is heading out in like five minutes ago to go to the airport and go back to California. So right now we're getting some last second trades in and we're also getting best friends with Holly and Nick and her just hit best friends for Lucky Schwein up. So that was a good trade. So we've got an Eevee ready for that and um, yeah, a little trade session here, eh? All right. What are we doing here? So we are trading Eevees for Eevee. Yes. So, oh, we do, uh, so hopefully get Vaporeon and Flareon, right? Fun fact, uh, when Shiny Eevee came out, I evolved three of them in a row, got three so Flareons in a row, broke my phone, and then never evolved one again. Special trade for best friendship. That's a great that's a pretty trade. Pretty good, and if it comes out lucky, that's even better. Yeah. But you know, Shiny, either way. Hopefully lucky best friend trade, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was. I had like the background. I was like, oh gosh, okay. Well, okay. four best friends though. Count it down. Three, two, one. Okay. All right. So sort of almost at the same time. You want Vaporeon? I yeah. want Flareon. Let's see. It's probably gonna go. I'll get the Flareon. Wow! If I actually get a Flareon, I'm gonna be really. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh! No way! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It, it, yeah, that happened. That was perfect. That happened. So because you can't see her screen recording and you can't see mine, I got a Flareon. Oh, that she got the Victoria. That actually happened. <laughs> Most important thing. Yes. Boom. Best yes. friends right there, which Best is friends. great to okay. There it is. And awesome. also on top of that. And a Pidgey. And a Pidgey. Yes. <laughs> I'm never evolving a shiny or Eevee ever again. Just mark that down. Like when when the if guaranteed comes out for Leafeon and Glaceon, we'll do that. But I will never touch the evolve button on a shiny Eevee. <laughs> Write that down, someone, because that's facts. I gotta do that too. <laughs> 
<laughs> See you later, man. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, mad. That's not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Man, I like the edit.